everyone. Welcome. I hope that you're doing really well today. Today I'm coming to you and we're just going to do a get ready with me. We're going to do a chit chat. I picked up a new foundation last night and I just remembered I left it in the other room. So I'll have to go get it. But I've missed you all so much. I need to go get that foundation and I'll be right back. I did pick this up the other day. I'm not going to use it today because I'm going to be trying a new foundation. But we're going to do a video this week. It'll be like midweek or later. Um, my boy and his girl are coming in to visit, so they'll be in later on this evening. So I'm going to be a little bit busy, and to be honest, I still have to kind of take it slow. I overdid it the past couple days, and I've had a really rough morning, but you know what? We're just going to keep on going. This is by Kooky, Koki, however you pronounce it. These are Transformix drops. Um, they're mixers that go in your foundation. The white tube makes your foundation dewy this weightless makeup mixer instantly changes foundation to a radiant dewy finish without compromising the quality wear or color of your foundation and then this guy does the same thing only he makes your um, not so matte foundations more on the matte side I'm really interested in trying these out. I also got this because I heard somebody talk about it and I can't remember who it was. Koki Lash Boosting Primer. So we'll give that a try. I didn't even know they were coming out with this until I saw Cassie sharing this on her. I think it was her Instagram. It's Maybelline Dream Satin Liquid. And I am adjusting. I have new lights, new mic, new equipment and so i'm going to be getting used to that hopefully i was trying some new uh, primers and i got a little bit of a breakout going on but nothing horrible i feel like since i've been taking my halo beauty supplements i really if i do have skin sensitivity it's not as much and if it does come in the form of a breakout it doesn't last as long not half as long it's crazy okay so my face is primed and ready to try this new foundation i did use my invisibly invisible perfecting shield and once again this is the dream satin liquid foundation and hydrating serum all in one it doesn't say all in one i just added that okay i got the color porcelain ivory because number one, I'm super fair. Number two, the next one up, which is the one I usually would get, seemed very dark. So I like that it has the little pump and you can twist it and lock it and unlock it. I like that. I like that. Okay, so let's see. You know, it's really, it's not, it's not as liquidy as I thought it was going to be to have a hydrating serum. It really has pretty good coverage. Um, I wanna do just another like a half of a pump, not even really a half of a pump, just to get right up here. really good coverage I always judge the coverage by my nose because what I do there because I have more issues around my nose area I'm going to go ahead and put some on the other side two squirts see where my little baby hairs are growing back I really do like that it looks pretty so far okay so I, I got a few things to try I was super excited. I had placed some orders. I just got mainly some hair and some body things. So I did those orders online. Well, they released these yesterday. So I actually went up into the store and I was so excited. If you have burgundy-ish hair, you're going to be so excited to know that Kat Von D has come out with a brow pomade in our collar. So excited. Isn't that pretty? It is Albergine, Albergine. 
And then I also got a medium brown because I want to be able to put some of that in through my brow, but I don't think I want it all that collar. Um, and so I went with a medium brown. Oh, I went in a little heavy. You just need a little bit. Just barely lay your brush in there. It is so pigmented. I'm gonna wipe that brush off. Go in with this burgundy. I'm anxious to see how this, how it wears. It looks a lot right now because my hair is not down. I'm going to go ahead with my NYX HD High Definition Eye Primer. And then I'm going to go in with the Becca, what is this? I've heard so many people talk about it. Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. I got the light to medium. I like that. It is, it's a great, it looks like it's doing a great job as a corrector, but it's also very brightening. So I do really like that. I'm gonna take some powder that I didn't really care for as a face powder, Translucent Light. It's Cover Talks 10 by Physicians Formula. And that's what I'm gonna use. I'm just going to be using my Mad About You from Violet Voss. I'm gonna go in with Sweetheart. Fluffy type of a brush. Nothing too neat, just getting ready to put in my transition collar. Going to, with the same brush, go in with Beloved. Just a fluffy brush with a light hand. It's a really pretty sunny day. It's about, I think it's 55, right right around 55, 56. I'm going to go in with Infatuation because I don't really want to put dark in my inner eye, but I want something in there. Back into the Sweetheart. And I'm just going to take that big fluffy brush again and I'm going to wipe it off good and I just want to blend. I'm not adding anything right now. I just want to blend that. And I'm just going to deepen that outer V out a little bit. I'm not going to do a whole lot. And this is a Coastal Scents BRCNO8. Now if you don't want to use natural bristles they do make these in synthetic, and I'm just going to go in Adorbs. I did a bunch day before yesterday. I did a bunch yesterday. I helped mom move some furniture yesterday. And then today I got up early and started because I wanted to, I like everything to be super fresh. So I wanted to wash their bedding and stuff today. Plus the cats, you know, cats shed too. And so I wanted to get all that kind of stuff washed up. Run the sweeper again down at the other house where the kids will be staying. And I just got super dizzy. Like when I, cause today was also my, you know, you keep things straight through the week, but like, I like Saturdays to be my, you know, dust everything, wipe everything down run the sweeper, scrub the bathrooms, you know, that kind of a thing. I like to do it super early on a Saturday and then get in the shower and you're done. Your house is done for the rest of the weekend. And so it was also that day, which I didn't do last week because I had been in the accident and I just, I couldn't. There was just no way. This is a B Pro Crease. I think this is from Beauty Junkies. And I just didn't want something quite as fluffy as that other brush. 
and I just want to blend. Now I have been trying a new eyelash primer. I got the NYX one to try and it was okay on my bottom lashes. Then I got another one to try and I'm actually sending it to a friend because I want to get her opinion. And then I, was it Kathy? I don't remember if it was Kathy or not. I can't remember. But here is the Koki Lash Boosting Primer. Now this is a white one, a white primer. Did I curl my lashes? I did curl my lashes right. I'm gonna use my Smashbox under eye primer. This little sample one. I'm going to use my Becca. Again, my brightener corrector. I'm going to use my Catrice Liquid Camouflage. Look how bright that is. That is amazing. But in all, fair, in all fairness, the Boing Win from Benefit that I got, it was a two and I should have gotten a one. This has become one of my favorite concealers. It truly has. I'm also going, to, I'm going to get this other sponge. I'm going to use my Cody Air Spun and bake. This, even with the 15% off, this is still a splurge. This is the Sephora 91 brush. I really like it. It's super soft, but this is also just, it's almost as soft. It's not quite as dense. I mean, you can tell that. But this is an Eco Tools. I think it's $8.99 versus, I'll put it right here. I'll put it right here. I don't remember how much it was. So if you're wanting a really tapered brush, then it's a good one. See, I forgot to at first put my blind down. <laughs> I'm sorry. I want to very soon do a summer proof makeup face video, but I want to do it a little early because I think, I think once we finally get spring, it's going to be like spring and then poof, summer. So we want to be ready. This is the waterproof bronzing powder from Rimmel is what I was trying to say. And it is in 022 Sun Bronze. And I found this the other day. What was it? Tuesday was the first day I had worn makeup. And I found this guy. This is for Makeup Revolution Ultra Blush Palette. And this is in Hot Spice. You get a nice little mirror there. Look at these collars. Aren't they just so pretty? I think they're gorgeous. And I'm just going to just kind of mix these guys right here. Gonna tap into my by Terry and just hit my pore area. This palette also has two really pretty highlights right here. I think it's going to be a flattering highlight. You know what I mean? As soon as I find. Mm -hmm. Isn't that pretty? I think that's so pretty. Okay, now I want to try this Koki Kooky eyelash primer. I like the wand that it's long and it gets in there. You can really get in there with it. I like that a lot. I'm going to give this a try again. This is the NYX Worth the Hype mascara. I'm going to be putting on lashes anyway, so it doesn't really matter if this is not good. It didn't do that before. Like, it did not. It did not do this before. It's a dip primer. I'm going to do another coat of this mascara. I was going to do lashes, but now I want to see what this mascara does. Because it honestly, like, it was nothing like this before. Okay, I'm going to try it on my bottom lashes because this is really freaking me out. I just can't get over this. Okay, this is my Holy Grail 
lash discovery for my bottom lashes it's just amazing okay so i am back i have my lipstick on i do want to tell you about that okay let's begin first with the foundation that i tried the dream satin liquid foundation and hydrating serum i like this i like the way it looks on my skin i'm looking in the viewfinder i find that more accurate than the mirror like according to what you're going to be seeing and my mirror is so dirty but i like the way it looks on my skin magnified i am still really pleased with it so the foundation so far i'm really enjoying doing away with the time lapse foundation has been on for three hours right now and i am still really liking the way that it, it is looking so the becca under eye brightening corrector i really like this and then we have these brow pomades from kat von d and i really do seriously i am so thrilled that they finally came out with this collar i love that i love it that was like a spur of the moment like i was halfway there normally before i go i'm like looking through pictures thinking oh is this the time i'm going to go red i didn't do any of that it was like i was halfway there and i'm like i'm going red I'm, i want red back I used my Violet Voss Matte About You palette. I really do like this palette. If you're looking for a really nice matte palette where you get several, several options of colors and looks and tones, this is a really nice one. It wears all day. It blends so easily. You can really deepen it up. You can really make it bold or you can do just a really nice soft look this is a great palette this primer i still think that this is the reason that i liked this so much because i have used this nyx worth the hype mascara before i almost threw it away did not care for it at all but with this i really am impressed so i'm going to try this with my holy grail so we'll use those together and that will tell a lot for my lips i have been wearing this ever since i started wearing makeup again this week this is l'oreal infallible pro matte liquid lipstick this is their new chocolate oh, look at this collar it is number 842 it's what i have on i love this i love this so much it just goes on so smooth it's just like on me the perfect every day. I'm not putting any thought or any plant into my lip. I just grab this and go. Number 831 in mauve. It's just really pretty. Hardly see that I have a lip liner on. It matches that that nicely. I think that's it for now. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope that you all have a great day. I will see you in the next video.